Hello everyone, Don Antonio from the Cigar Castle. And tonight, I am here with Chelsea and Kid Kidani. Kidani. And Chelsea is going to smoke her first cigar. Now, whenever I'm recommending uh, a first cigar to a lady, I always pick the Foundation Upsetters. Okay, this is gonna be like a sweet vanilla kind of a cigar. Ladies seem to love them. Uh, the Mad Dog, who's filming tonight, is smoking uh, a Fat Bottom Betty, which is another cigar that ladies love. <laughs> uh, believe it at that. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna light the cigar now in the way I've explained before, where we're just kinda toasting on the first pass with the lighter. I like to use a nice single jet, easy flame. Keep it far away, ignite slowly. Don't scorch the sugars in the tobacco. It'll lead to an acrid, sulfur-like taste. I wave it around to help stoke the embers a little bit. And you can see we already have some white ash there where it's dark, I go back in and I clean it up. And uh, what a unique opportunity this is for Chelsea to be able to have her first cigar on video. Uh, she's gonna give us some feedback about what she thinks as we go. So Chelsea, yeah. give it a little purge. I like to do that to get the impurities out and away from the foot of the cigar from the lighting experience. There you go. That's looking really good. It's definitely lighting. All right, dear, what, what do you think about the flavors so far? What are you experiencing, your honest feedback? It's really smooth, it's nice. Usually when I think of like cigars, it's like really harsh, but like, this is nice. Yeah, it's so important to uh, pick out the right cigar for the particular person on a particular evening. So what led me to the Foundation Upsetters is Chelsea being a female and her first cigar. I pointed her in that direction. If I was picking out one for the Mad Dog, I would do something like the Triple T, you know, something with some oomph, but to each his own. It all depends on what you're in the mood for. Uh, some people prefer spice, some earthy, some sweet. Me, I like them all because that's how far along my palate is developed. So, Chelsea, how do you feel about this cigar as far as how it's burning and the uh, light that we gave it? I think it's burning good. I don't really know like how it works. Okay. But, yeah. What we like to do is keep the temperature down. Mm -hmm. So. Just like when we're lighting it, when we're smoking it, you should always be able to hold your cigar one eighth of an inch below the burn line. Too hot to hold, too hot to smoke. The heat of the sugar in the cigar has everything to do with the way the cigar is going to taste. If you ever smoked a cigar and then tasted it for three days afterward, guess why? Use an error. You got the cigar way too hot, it contaminated your palate and it's staying with you. It shouldn't be the case. Go nice and easy on your cigar. Definitely less is more when it comes to the temperature of the cigar. If you feel your cigar is going out, give it a purge, slow and steady. This will help to reignite your cigar. So I purged and then took a drawer at the end. That cigar is well lit. Do you have any questions for us, sir? Yes, what are the common flavors found in cigars? Well, that's a very good question. That's going to have everything to do with what country and what region within the country uh, the tobacco came from, as well as the strains of tobacco. So you have Cameroon, Torojo, um, Habano, Connecticut, Pennsylvanian broadleaf, and the soil that it's grown in will produce different flavors depending on the strain. So a Torojo, I noticed in my experience, on the Honduran and the Dominican, they're going to be more of a tempered spice, whereas if it's from the Jalapa, Nicaraguan region, it's going to be very spicy, and those are the ones I prefer. Well, we're going to let Chelsea finish through her cigar, and she looks like she's doing a great job of smoking it. I'm happy with it. <laughs> this young man has himself a, a hookah strawberry flavor, and he's going to be enjoying that in a little while. And we're going to let the mad dog get back 
to his fat bottom Betty, which he's done twice in a row now, so I guess he really loves it. Don Antonio, signing off. Have a great night.